This is a, uh, I've got a 2018 Forest River Lock Rock Rockwood Roo, and uh, it came with this uh, electric tongue jack, which is really nice. Beats having to crank it up and down. And uh, it's a, just over two years old. And I went out to use it to, uh, we're gonna go camping, and I found the lights. Uh, like you can see, the lights work. But when I hit the up and down thing, could hear the motor running but uh, nothing was happening it wasn't raising or lowering the, the foot so uh, luckily it, you know it comes with this this tool here uh, that you can use you just pull this rubber rubber plug off the top and then you can use that uh, that tool to crank you know hand crank the thing up and down uh, they don't recommend you could use a drill but you got to really hang on to it because it really torques around hard uh, they do not recommend you using any kind of an impact wrench because, uh, well, you'll see when I pull this cover off why you wouldn't want to use an impact. Uh, the teeth in this thing are incredibly fragile, and I'm really, really surprised by that. And uh, I'm going to have to get a whole new jack put on here now, and I'm going to show you. So what I did, I, uh, there's only there's four bolts. There's one on, uh, on each side, one on the front, or I'm sorry, not bolts, they're screws one here and one in the back and I've got the four of them uh, shown right down there and the one in the front and the one in the back have a flat head on it the side ones have a round head not that that's critical but might make it seat in there a little bit better so I already took all these screws out uh, just to uh, make this a little bit easier so anyway take the screws out and then this just pops off and you can see there's the, uh, the wiring for the switches on the inside and once you take that cover off uh, there's another little cover. This is the bolt that you put the uh, wrench on if you want to raise or lower it manually. Uh, anyway, then there's four bolts. One, two, three, and four. Or I'm sorry, four screws again. And I've already loosened those. So you just loosen, take those screws, and then you can pull that cover off. And then here's the insides. And what happened... I'll try and get a real close up. You can see this big wheel, the, the large wheel right here. It has uh, it has a bunch of teeth missing. You can see those teeth are all broken out of there. And look at how small those uh, those teeth are really small and really fragile. Um, I'm trying to see. There was another, there's another piece that goes in here. I must have pulled out when I lifted the, the top off. But you can take a five millimeter and remove this little uh, retaining uh, nut here and then pull this this is just a kind of a cotter pin that goes through there you can pull that and then you can pull that that wheel off and I, I went online and tried to see if I could just get another uh, cog wheel to put on there to replace it and then everything would work fine and they don't make them they're not available so you have to replace the whole thing apparently um, but I'm going to show you uh, see this little the real tiny little uh, cog right in here right in the corner that goes to the motor and that is the only thing that thing spins and engages those small teeth on that first cog and then there's another piece that goes in here with a with a, uh, a some cogs that then engage this this larger wheel and turns the the whole foot up and down and again like I say when I pulled that top off that fell out somewhere I don't see it but anyway that just sits right in that hole and it has some some teeth on it but so I'm just going to show you real quick when I turn this on. Oops. Oh no, something. I think a wire must have pulled out. But that little corner one is is all that turns this whole thing, and those teeth are really fragile. Uh, so I am going to replace the whole thing. I did some research. I'm going to be replacing it with a bulldog Reese. Uh, that the thing that sold me on that, I guess, is uh, I'm getting a 4,000 pound. This is a 3,500 FIC. I'm gonna get a 4,000 pound Bulldog Reese winch. It's about 235 bucks, 250 with tax on Amazon. Uh, but that one has a five year warranty. This one has a one year warranty. And of course this is about two years old. So it was not under warranty. And uh, the Bulldog Reese has a five year. I saw one other one that I think had a two year, but uh, so I'm hoping that, uh, that something with the five year warranty is maybe perhaps a little bit beefier. I talked to the uh, RV place where I bought this to ask them if they had any experience with, you know, looking at the insides of these and seeing if any other models had a, 
beefier cog or anything like that and he said they don't even tear them into them they just replace them because it's not worth their their time to, to do that so he didn't really know if there was any manufacturers out there that made them with beefier cogs or not so i hope this information helps somebody out there and uh please like and subscribe thank you